What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get into some college basketball picks for Sunday, March 12th slate of games. Before we get into our picks tonight, let's look at the leaderboard from last night. Trey, start us off. I don't know if there's anyone more depressed mm -hmm. on planet Earth than me right now. I hope whenever you guys were watching this Maris game, you were thinking of me. Um, it's very sad for me to even be talking. You know, it's very sad for me to type up these notes. The game was tied 45-45 with about 10 minutes left. I gave out Maris money line against Iona in the MAC championship game, the team of destiny. They had it all in their grasp, but they just could not put the ball in the hoop. I don't know what was going on. The ball was halfway down multiple times and then just popped out. It was very tough to watch. And Maris was blowing easy, easy layups and did not know how to break a press. As Bear loves to say, if you can't break a press, you don't deserve to win a game. And that's kind of what it came down to. It is what it is. Patrick Gardner, I'm going to see you on the next level. I was very, very glad to hear that the announcers were saying he's projected to be a late first round pick, possibly early second if he slips past the first round. Regardless, we're going to see him in the next level, hopefully on the, hopefully on the Lakers. But until next season, Maris fighting Red Wolves, sayonara. Yeah, I think we were all disappointed. I, I know I wrote it. I think Teets wrote it as well. But I definitely watched every second of that game with you. And it's tough to lose that way. But shout out to Maris for a great run, though, in the, in the mm -hmm. tournament. So good for yep. them. Shout out Maris. Yeah. Uh, I had the Purdue Boilermakers up against the Ohio State Buckeyes. Ohio State gave it their all in this game. I really admire what they did this season after losing 14 of 15 games and then making this big run in the Big Ten tournament. But it was not enough. They played a great first half for 16 minutes. And then Purdue went inside, dominated the last four minutes. And Ohio State went down eight at the half. They still fought in the second half. Purdue even got up by 16 points. Ohio State would get that down to seven, but Purdue and Zach Eady too much down the stretch. The big man had a 30-10 game. Tough to go down like that for the Ohio State Buckeyes, but we cashed with Purdue minus six and a half. Teets? Yeah, I had UAB versus FAU, and uh, you know how I went on that spiel the other day about how I had a buddy who – you know, shared the same common interest of the sports, sports betting, everything like that. Uh, and he put me on UAB. Yeah, I've cut him from my life. I don't need that negativity anymore. Um, no, but all jokes aside, UAB, FAU, I took the over of 148 and a half. Uh, the thing was, is FAU showed up. They scored 78 points. They did everything they could to get it as close to 148 and a half as possible. But UAB did not show up. Uh, Jordan Jelly Walker, 6 of 20 from the field, 18 points. Probably one of the worst games that UAB and Jelly Walker played all season long. Uh, it came right at the worst time because it was right at the conference championship. Uh, that was going to be a potential bid at large for them to get into the March Madness tournament. Um, and obviously, just for our own sake, I needed them both to go off. And, uh, you know, FAU, shout out to you guys. Good luck in the tournament. UAB, I don't know what to tell you guys. Yeah, that was a tough game to watch. But let's get into our picks for tonight. Trey, start us off. Yeah, the conference championship games are coming to an end, and we're going to be moving on to – selection sunday and i know that s3 are very very excited to see what all teams get in so we can fill out the bracket so stay tuned for that i'm going to be attacking the princeton versus yale game the ivy league championship game we always love to see some smart basketball being played and that's exactly what the ivy league brings to the table and these two teams have already played twice this season and yale won both of those matchups and covered them as well the first game they won at home by 22 points 87 to 65 then they followed that up by traveling to Princeton, and they won in overtime and dominated overtime. Yale ended up winning by 10 points, 93-83. to 83. Yale is definitely the better team whenever you look at the regular season outlook. And Yale got a huge boost in their last game whenever leading scorer Matt Nolan played. Nolan has been out for the last three weeks with an injury, so Yale was very glad to have him back. But he was definitely knocking off some rust, only scored six points. But Yale was picked up by John Palukidis. Palukidis dropped 25 points on Cornell in the last round. So even if Nolan's still knocking off some rust, the uh, surrounding players should be able to step up. So I'm going to be taking Yale here, money line at minus 152. I don't mind the extra juice because I just like to take wins here. I'm not going to get, you know, minus two and a half because these games have always been close. But if you do not like the minus 150, I do still like the minus two and a half here as well. The main thing is, is that you got to give Yale the edge whenever you look at rankings and stats. Princeton has a 75th ranked offense 
but the 134th ranked scoring defense. Yale, on the other hand, has an even higher ranked offense, 66th ranked scoring offense, but their defense is what is winning them games and what should win them this game. The 25th ranked scoring defense in all of college basketball. And here are my three favorite trends for this game. Princeton is 1-5 ATS in the last six neutral site games. Yale is 4-0 ATS in our last four games overall. Yale is also 20-6 ATS in our last 26 neutral site games. That just goes to show that Yale has been dominating the Ivy League Conference Tournament, and it should not end here. Give me Yale money line to march on. Yeah, Trey, for my play tonight, I will stay in the Big Ten. It's going to be Purdue versus Penn State game, the championship game. And again, I'm put in a situation where I want to take the underdog to win, but I have to take Purdue again, minus six. Penn State has played their way into the NCAA tournament. That's a fact. They will be a 10 seed most likely, and they will give a seven seed some hell. They might even win a couple games in the NCAA tournament. The Penn State Nittany Lions do not match up well. Zach Eady is too much down low, and they don't have anybody to guard him. Purdue beat Penn State by double digits both times in the regular season, 20 and 13. And to Penn State's defense, they are not that team that we saw in the regular season. They are playing at a high level right now. But just like Ohio State, who was playing at a high level, Purdue took them down. We all know Penn State lives and dies by the three, and they will make their threes against Purdue, but it still won't be enough. If we look back at the run Penn State has made, they made eight threes against Indiana, seven against Northwestern, and then eight against Illinois. That is a couple threes below their average, and they still were able to win games because all of those teams did not attack the inside very well. Illinois shot 21 threes, Northwestern shot 24 threes, and Indiana shot two of 14 from three. Indiana was the closest game, and inside they went 29 of 52, shooting well over 50% from the inside. The Purdue Boilermakers, in their two wins in the regular season against Penn State, allowed eight threes in the 13-point win and 11 threes in the 20-point win. They allowed 11 threes and still won by 20 points. So even when Penn State got their average threes in the game, Purdue still beat them by 20 points. That's because Purdue attacks the paint and they out-rebound Penn State by double digits in both of those games in the regular season. And Purdue hit their threes as well in those games. But the main point is that Penn State was severely out-rebounded and lost by double digits hitting their threes. I love this Penn State team. I've taken them every single game of the tournament on the website, Moneyline, every time they have not failed me. But Purdue is so much more dominant inside than any of the teams they've played yet. And I think Purdue will win the Big Ten tournament and cover the spread. Purdue minus five and a half, buying the half a point for Purdue. Teets? Yeah, I'm heading over to the SEC, get me down in the Southeastern Conference, and I'm looking at Texas A&M versus Alabama. Uh, you know, shout out to Texas A&M. They've actually went on quite a bit of run. I feel like we've talked quite a bit about Cinderella stories, and I know Texas A&M has been great for most of the season, but uh, they've had to go through quite a bit of a, a uh, grind just to get to this point. Um, they've they faced off against some pretty good teams, and they have overcome some solid deficits and adversities. Uh, Alabama is one of the best teams in the nation. Uh, saying that doesn't have the same weight as it has in previous years, but they are still pretty good. Uh, it's an interesting game. Uh, the last time these two teams have played, uh, they've only played once in the in the regular season, and Texas A&M actually won 67-61. Um, Brandon Miller for Alabama went for 19 points, 7 of 23 from the field. Uh, he did have 10 rebounds, though, but he also included five turnovers, and he also fouled out. Uh, Wade Taylor, the fourth for Texas A&M, dropped 28. Tyrese Radford, 21 for Texas A&M. It really was a big team effort win for uh, Texas A&M in this game to take down the uh, Crimson Tide. Uh, as a team, Bama shot 22-65 from the field. Texas A&M, 18-53. Uh, less shot attempts, just a few less shots made. Bama shot 7 of 36 from the three. And Texas A&M, 4 of 16 from the three. And then Bama had 18 turnovers and 22 fouls in this game uh, to Texas A&M's 14 and 14. Uh, I just I can't sit here and tell you that I'm going to take Texas A&M. It's kind of like the Purdue Penn State thing. I want Texas A&M to win this game uh, just because I would like to see what they can do uh, in the tournament. I think they'll still be in the tournament, but potentially a better seating if they actually win the SEC tournament. Either way, I am going to take Alabama. They are the better team. Uh, just because they lost one time in the regular season does not mean that they're going to just give up and let Texas A&M run over them again. Uh, minus four and a half is perfectly fine for me. I might even play this up to at least minus six and a half. Probably not much more. It is a, a conference championship game. Um, I think it's going to be a great game either way, but I think Bama, who's been playing a little bit better recently, is going to be able to run away with this. 
All right, guys, that'll do it for our college basketball picks and predictions. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.